All right, so let's let's create the join that we actually need this time. So let's edit this a little bit. So instead of selecting from users, we want to just get from messages. So if you notice on both sides, we are selecting in T, uh, let me put this as T1, like that, okay. That's T1 messages and T2 is also select from messages, okay? So now what I want, uh, actually T2, wait a minute. What I want here is select all, now I don't want to select everything from here. I just want to select, um, let's see, um, ID of course. And then um, I want to select the maximum date, like so. So to get the maximum date, we use max date, like that. So I want to see the results of, oh, actually that's what I will get there. Let's remove the on here for a second. So let's hit go. Okay. Now, the important part here you have to see is, uh, I wanted to get max date. So let me move a little bit to the end here. Where is max date anyway? Uh oh, I cannot see max date. Okay, let's edit this a little bit. Let's try and put T2 there. Uh, yes, let's go. All right. So since I've put T2 there, uh, and inside T2, we just asked it to get the ID and the max date. So here it's getting the maximum date and the ID. So let's um, wait a minute. Let me come back here to this table. So let's see the date that we currently have here. It's 22.50.40. So let's come to ID number three. So there's 22.50.40, which is this date right here. Okay. So that is the maximum date, which is the newest date. So that's why we get only that. So it's working actually. Even though you see that the ID does not match the max date, it doesn't matter. It's just getting the ID of the item, uh, the first item it found. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We said select ID max from messages, okay. So let's be more specific inside here. So I'm going to say ID max date from message ID, and then I'm going to say group by message ID. So I'm telling it to group by message ID in here. So let's see that in action. And there we go. But it's getting number three and number eight as expected but the results are too many here. And that's because we are not joining properly the result here on the outside. So here the results are just two, but on the outside, it's getting all the, um, because it just says select all from messages here. That's it, okay. That's why it's selecting all the rows and then filling it up with the two rows that it got from here. So let's do an on here so that we can limit the result. So we're going to say, uh, let me get message ID here as well, because that's the common thread. So I'll say message ID here. Let me use T1, uh, I think I'll leave it there for now. So group by message ID, then here I will say on T1 dot 
message ID should be equal to T2 dot message ID go okay we are getting somewhere at least now we have two of these three of these uh, we are not exaggerating the oh they are not grouped still hmm let's group them edit in line so at the very end here let me get from t1 here for a second let's it go ah okay so we still get everything okay that's fine edit in line let me go back to t2 here and here i'll just say group again by message id i want the final result to also be grouped by message id so there we go okay so finally we get these two but i want to see the id as well here so let me edit in line i'll say edit in line i want to see which ones we are getting so id go okay so we are still getting id number eight and number three so come back here we are still getting number three and number eight but there's a key difference here now is this max date now if you look at max date here this first date is 225040 so let's look at here where that date is that's 2250 2250 40 that's the one so meaning that it has gotten of, of, of this thread it has taken the latest date here which is this one but what about the other one this is 1755.47 so 1755.47 which is this one and so you see it has taken the date for this one the latest in this thread and this one the latest in that thread so this is the key difference is that even though it has taken this column and this column it has also added to those it has joined the latest date for this one which is this one the latest date for this thread which is this one and the latest date for this one this thread which is this one so we can use that as a join to make sure that we get these columns instead as you can see here so we use this max date column now the problem is max is a keyword so it's better we use an alias here so that instead of having it return max date as a column uh, because for example uh, the reason why this is this is not cool is because if you see here i'm saying on t1 dot message id is equal to that i can put an and here and say and t1 dot then i'll have to say max date because that's the name of the column here t1 dot max date like that but the problem is max is a keyword so it will try to calculate here again but i want to refer to this column without using the max here so instead of doing all this i'll give it an alias here so this max date i can call it put a space and call it my date like so this way if i hit go you see that it says my date in the column name there instead of all this so i can refer to it much better now so let's go back in there now i want to return the result for t1 this time so here i just want to say and at this point and t1 dot my date Oh wait, that's uh, T2. This my date is inside T2 here. This is T2. So my date is here. So T2, my date should be equal to T1 dot date. So what I'm telling it is that, because if you look at this, this is the result. This result here is the result of T2, which is this query in here okay we've named this entire query t2 so the result of all this here the grouping 
the column names is this. So now I'm telling it that it should join this to another query, which is this one. Select all from messages. But it should join the two only where the message ID are, the message IDs are equal, that's number one, and the date of T1, which is the same selector from messages, should be equal to this maximum date there for T2, which is my date there. I hope it's making sense. Uh, it gets a, a bit uh, confusing, but this is the gist of the matter. Now, instead of returning the results to see the result of T2, which is this one, which we are seeing right now, I want to see the result of T1. That's why here I have put T1 because the, the query outside will be the main query. So I want to see the result there. So this should actually do it. So let me click go. So, and as you can see here, we've returned, uh, this is what we've returned here. So we returned ID number nine and number seven. Those are the two items we've returned. So let's go back and see what those are really. So number nine and number seven. So if you watch carefully, this number seven is the last, the latest message in this thread. And number nine is the latest message in the second thread. So we have our result now. So all I need to do now is to go to uh, edit in line and copy my query here. Copy it so that we can use it here now. So let me come back here for a second and paste this new query that we have. Now we won't paste it here because it's inside read threads. So we go to the messages class right here. Let's just duplicate the query that exists so that we can paste our brand spanking new one. There we go. Okay, so we can remove the top query. No, wait before we remove it. So this query actually works now quite well because we've tested it, but the only problem is it's going to return messages for everyone. We have to tell it to only retain messages where the sender or the receiver is equal to me. Okay, so let me copy that as well. From there. Okay. So we will put this in uh, here. I think it will work better in this as a where clause for this inside one. So select these columns from messages where that is true. Okay. Where sender is equal to me or receiver is equal to me, then group by message ID. Well and good. That should work. Let me mute that one. And let's come back and see what monstrosity we get. So it says you have no messages. At this point, we can see that we have an error in that part there. So let's fix that before we go any further. This is not required. You have no messages. Okay, but that's not true that we have no messages. So let's come back here. What mistake did we make? So maybe it's the brackets. Let me try and remove the brackets. Let's see what we get, if that's the problem. It doesn't look like that was the problem. So let's undo that. So maybe it's the where clause that is missing. So for messages, where? Okay, there we go. Things are working out. So if you click here, you see that it says one more message. And here, how are you doing these days? So it's, it's doing two things. It's showing you who you are talking to in this thread. And it's showing you the latest message in that thread. So jackpot. 
So if you want to see it in action, let's see. This one is saying, how are you doing these days? Let me add one more message here and say, are you doing fine? Then we'll see it update. Okay, so if I go back to messages here and refresh, are you doing fine? You see that it has updated now to show the very latest message. All right, so I think we have a winner here. So I will see you in the next video where we continue. And I think we're going to deal with uh, adding images, if I'm not mistaken. So I will see you in the next video.